Hi, everyone. Good morning. We did a little bit of a venue change we because did. we didn't want to stand in the rain while we did. Um, you know, Miss Oja didn't want to mess up her hair. Oh. <laughs> oh, <I did. laughs> All right, guys, today's September 20th. For lunch today, you are going to be so excited. Ooh, what are we having? Chicken drumstick and biscuits. That's my chicken dance, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. KFC up in here. Okay. And you get grape escapes. Okay. And fresh celery sticks. Plus Yay. a honey packet. Now, last time we had grape escapes, people, the grapes were escaping all over the floor. Okay. I almost slipped and died on a grape. So please. That. We don't want that. Yeah, we don't want oh, that. I don't oh, want that for anyone. I really don't want that. So <laughs> keep your grape escapes in your tray. On your mouth. Sure. Really. Sure. Yeah. Those are all acceptable places. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have some cafeteria pride, pride points. House points. Oh, Oops, house woot, points. Woot, woot. All right. So, um, for Kinder, curiosity, house, gratitude, resilience, and integrity. All four. All four. Good job, Kinder. Super duper. For first and second, we have curiosity house, the resilience house, and integrity house. For third and fourth, we have Curiosity House and Gratitude House. And Curiosity is just... And that is it for today. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boys and girls, I let's go ahead and let's talk about the three R's in the caf cafeteria. Um, three R's, obviously, res response, respect, respectful, responsible, and ready. But in the cafeteria, we really need to demonstrate each and every one of those. Being responsible is picking up your trash, keeping your great escape grapes in your tray or eating them and putting in your belly. But when we're talking and we're trying to get your noise level down, especially when we have presenters sharing wonderful opportunities with us, we need to listen with our ears and be paying attention. And that shows respect, showing that we care and value what they have to say. We value what you will have to say and we'd like to see that respect kind of back to us as well when we're trying to get your attention. So let's Continue to work on those three R's, noise level, let's keep it low. And then the respectful part, you know, we want to hear what you want to say, what you have to say, and we want to share some really important, wonderful information with you as well. But you have to be able to listen and hear everything. Yeah, you have to remember a lot of times we have like 200 kids in the cafeteria, you guys. So, you know, it, there's, there's still a lot of noise, even if we're just talking at an inside voice, sometimes the volume is loud. So you just have to be really cognizant or aware, cognizant. Mm -hmm making sure you're aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, we did a pretty good job with the rain. We had some puddles and all that kind of stuff. I think we only had to make like two phone calls home. So that is pretty spectacular. It is likely to be wet again today. So please make good choices and steer clear of those um, slippery, muddy areas. We don't want anyone to ruin any of their clothing or, you know, just yeah. be kind of bummed out because they fell in a puddle. It's not fun to be wet. Nope. Nope. Okay, uh, wrestling is coming. Wrestling is coming. To a Lincoln Lion campus near you? Yeah. Yes, on Thursdays, wrestling practice will be in the afternoon. I don't have that paper with me. 3 to 4 3 to 4 30, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And practices will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 3 to 4 30. In the cafeteria. Yes, in the cafeteria. Correct. In All the right. cafeteria. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, we're going to do a talk about it Tuesday. When I told Ms. Osher the topic, she's like, ooh, that's Deep. I was in a fifth grade class today and they were having a great conversation about um, like bullying and cyberbullying. And so it got me to kind of thinking about uh, social media yeah. and how much you guys have access or you have the availability to go on your phone, your parents' phone, and you have Instagram and you have TikTok and you have Snapchat, you have all these things. And so I'm wondering, what do you think are some of the benefits of social media? And what are maybe some of the drawbacks? Like, what what might not be great things that are a result of social media so what are some good things about it okay, and so, what are yeah yeah and what are some things that maybe aren't so great about it so talk about it let us know yeah it's like for example some of the good things is reaching out to people that you haven't really seen family members you haven't talked to in a long time and seeing all the wonderful things that that are going on in their lives. So that's a good way to reach out and say, hi, hello, how, how's it going? That's a good positive way of using social media. Yeah, and like, you know, TikTok has recipes, yes. right? Yes. Oh yeah, so we're just curious, what do you think are some of the benefits? And then maybe what are some of the not benefits or drawbacks, okay? Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys. Terrific Tuesday. Here we go. It's a good day for a great, great day. day. And Lincoln Lions will always continue to be respectful, responsible, and ready. That's right, guys. Say it with us loud and proud. This, this is, is the way. way. The, the Lincoln, Lincoln way. way. Bye, everyone. See you later.